So I can imagine that you think balancing is balancing now so important that you are spending an entire video in this series to this concept. And yes, balancing is really important because this concept will make your MIDI mockup sound realistic and good and professional when you have it properly done. But when you haven't got the right balance in your MIDI mockup, it will sound bad. It will sound not professional, not realistic. And when your goal is making MIDI mockups, orchestral MIDI mockups, with the ambition that they are being played by real orchestras or are being placed in film, TV or games, then balancing is key. You have to have a decent, proper, professional balance in your template. So don't underestimate the importance of balancing. It's really important. Hi there, this is David from Ghostwriter Music and Sounds and my channel is all about how to write music for film, TV and games, sound design and sound recording. And my goal is to help you write better music for media. Before I continue with the concept about balancing, um, I want to say a big thank you to all the people who has subscribed to my channel until now. Um, it's been two months, I've been two months on the road and I passed the 100 subscribers this week. I think it's really great fun to do. I love the interaction with you all. Keep doing that because it really motivates me to make all these videos and upload my music to this channel. So let's dive into the topic balancing. Okay, the concept of balancing, we can break that down in two things. One, you have to balance between the families of the orchestra and in this video I will discuss the string family, the brass family and the woodwind family. But you also have to balance within orchestra families. So within the string family you have to balance within the brass family and within the woodwinds family. So let's start with the balancing between the different families. And this is, this is quite logical, I guess, already familiar to you. If we compare, if, if, we take, if we take the string family and we make a combination with the woodwind family, you will hear the string family much louder than the woodwind family. If we make a combination of the string family with the brass family, the brass family will sound much louder than the string family in general, in general. If you make a combination of all three families, you will hear the string family. You will definitely hear the brass family and you might not hear the woodwind family that much because that family will be supportive to the orchestra, will be supportive to the string family and the brass family. They will add some massiveness, some extra sound to the orchestra without hearing the specific family that much. So keep that in mind when you are starting to balance your orchestra families with each other. Okay, when we talk about balancing within the orchestral families, and let's start with the string family. The double basses are very important within the string family. They provide the low end, just like the cellos most of the time are doing. And this, the double basses, when you leave them out, you will immediately notice that something isn't there. But within the total orchestra, you won't hear the specific sound of the double basses that much. So don't make them too loud. But see them as some sort of volume knob of the string family. So when you add them, the string family will sound louder, will sound bigger. The same thing is for the cellos. The cellos, when they play low or mid register, you probably won't hear them that much within the total orchestra. 
but when they play high register you will notice them make sure that the cellos are supportive to the total orchestra so don't put them that much on the foreground unless you are doing that on purpose of course the violas well the violas are a beautiful section within the string family but if you make the violas too loud sound too loud they will eat up all the space of the string family so don't do that just push them away to the background so balance them a little bit lower make the sound make the volume of the violas a little bit lower than the others and then the latest one violins have a very good projection power they will sound loud if they play high register mid register low register they can play in all registers very loud so you will always hear the, vi the violins in the orchestra if we continue with the brass family well let's start with the trumpets the trumpets have a very loud projection power when they play high register but when they are playing low register they lose their projection power and they will sound less loud that doesn't apply to the trombones and the bass trombones they have a very loud projection power in all the register high register mid register low register so trombones you will always hear the trombones playing within the orchestra the horns are something else if you don't make right epic music you will probably will you will probably use the horns as some sort of blending instrument for different sections within the orchestra they blend beautiful with with the strings for example but if you write epic music you will definitely want to hear the horns and then you will use the large section of horns within the orchestra that can create a very loud projection power and you will definitely will hear them within your composition the tubas are actually the same as the double basses. When you leave them out, you will notice that something isn't there. But when you put them in, you are not hearing them specifically. So there are again some sort of volume knob for the brass family. Use them to make it more massive, loud in total. The woodwind family is something different. The woodwind family within the orchestra and most composers these days don't use woodwinds that much in their composition because we think it's hard to use them and maybe that's because you don't hear them that much but woodwinds are key for getting a massive orchestral sound they are supportive to the strings and the brass if we look within the woodwinds family uh, the piccolo well you probably will hear the piccolo because the piccolo plays really high notes high in register there are not a lot of instruments that can create that high high sound within the orchestra the flutes are more supportive to the strings for example they can give extra body to the string sounds without hearing the actual flutes so they are playing in the background creating a more massive fat sound the oboe has a very specific sound so when you are using an oboe you probably will hear it immediately it will cut through all the other instruments within the orchestra so don't make it too loud because you will hear it immediately the clarinets and the bass clarinets are more supportive uh, instruments within the orchestra so don't make them too loud see them as the same as violas use them to support the orchestra to create a more massive sound but you don't have to hear them specifically within the orchestra and last the bassoon well the bassoon has a very specific sound so you will probably hear them immediately within the orchestra within your orchestral midi mock-up and the samples these days are very good don't make them too loud don't make them too loud all right so just make sure that you can hear them 
but a bit in the background. Okay, so we have discussed the concept of balancing between the orchestral families, the string family, the brass family and the woodwind family. And we've discussed the balancing within the orchestral family, the string family, the brass family and the woodwind family. And maybe you are wondering, okay, I understand this concept, but how can I apply this to my music tracks? How can I learn how to get a good proper balancing? Because David, you haven't told me what I should do right now. And there is no rule because every library has his own unique loudness, has his own unique recordings. That's something that you have to figure out yourself what the best balancing is. But what helps? And I want to give you a couple of tips. One, listen to a lot of orchestral music, good orchestral music. One of my favorites, Two Steps From Hell. They make awesome, really good sounding professional orchestral music. You can listen to them on Spotify, on YouTube. Uh, you can buy a album from them in iTunes and use them as some sort of reference tracks when you compose your own uh, music track, orchestral music track. So for example, Two Steps From Hell. But we are a large YouTube family and we all make orchestral music or a lot of us make orchestral music. So listen to each other music, music and try to learn from it. And the second tip that I want to give you is just start doing it. Start balancing, for example, first within, your, within one of the orchestral families. Start with a string family. Start to balance your violins, violas, cellos and double basses. And do that within one library you have. And then try it with another library if you have, for example, two libraries. Start balancing them. And start balancing them when you are layering them. So you make a combination of different libraries. Just try to figure it out what sounds good and use a reference track to be critical about your own hearing if it sounds okay. So just start doing it. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't done already, uh, ding that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video and I will see you next week when we discuss Hanning.